Hi, my crew from the underground. We're with, here with the I am metabolically disturbed circuit number two. Okay, circuit number two. We have a 30 30, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off time frame for you. Okay, if you're going with your personal training clients, you want to do a little density, you can do six repetitions of everything. Okay, so exercise number one, what we're going to start off with. Beautiful core exercise, shoulder blades, shoulder girdles working hard on this one. We got a plank reach. All right, so Tamar's getting in that good plank position, booty squeezed. She's gonna slide it out. She's actually gonna keep the opposite arm locked out. So this is kind of a more, it's advanced, but it's more beginning advanced. So she's not gonna bend the arm of the arm that's resting right underneath her shoulder. There you go, slide it out, boom. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the next variation. This is the spider man press up with the bow slides. This one is nastiness, okay? So what I'm gonna do, get in that press up position once again. All right, what I'm gonna do is my left arm's gonna slide out as my right knee is gonna to come to my right elbow. Bam! Tough, tough exercise. Ooh, doesn't take many of those to get you winded. So make sure that variation right there is for your advanced clientele. Try that yourself first. Feel it so you know the pain you're about to inflict on your clients in a circuit. So once again, that's 30-30. So we got not a whole lot of time on that one because of that advanced variation is rough as well, okay? So that's our exercise number one. Number two, what we're gonna do, Tamara just came up with this in our underground laboratory. She's gonna go on her back. She's gonna get a kind of a super crunch, a valve slide super crunch. So remember, if you don't have valve slides, if you have a slidey surface, you can use towels, you can use furniture movers, anything like that is gonna work well for you here. Okay, so Tamara's gonna go leg straight first, Arms over her head. She's gonna super crunch it by leg curling and coming up. Big breath out as she comes up. Now we're not big proponents of sit-ups or anything like that, but if these are done right, if the breathing's right with your crunches, shoulders are just coming off the ground, not coming all the way up, great exercise. If you have any clients that have lower back pain, probably best to avoid this variation right here. All right, killing that. So in that same variation, Okay, in that same position, sorry. We're gonna go to exercise number three. So now, Tamara's gonna step it up. She's gonna get a, a leg curl again, but this time you're really working the hamstrings. As she hips up, she's gonna bring it in, slide it out, and scissor it. So we got a leg curl scissor combo. So really working the hamstrings, hips, lower back's working hard as well. Ooh. Getting it up there, a couple more repetitions. Feet are sliding off the valve slides. And relax, she's looking at me like, can I stop now, please? <laughs> okay, so that's exercise number three. The valve slide shelf, supine hip extension leg curl with some scissors. All right, so that's a great backside combination right there. Okay, moving right along. What we're gonna do now is, you know, I know we have a prowler, kind of a sled to push, which is awesome. But if you don't, you can transform your valve slides, your furniture movers, your slidey little surfaces, whatever, into your own little push sled. So tomorrow's actually gonna step back so we have more room. Tomorrow, go back to, the, yeah, yeah, look at, she's, that's the bear crawl moonwalk right there. So what she's gonna do, she's gonna keep her knees bent and drive it forward. Yeah, arm staying right there. Good, good, good. Now pull it back. Bring it back. Ooh, that's a little harder. She's like Michael Jackson. In, in the circuit, what you have your clients do is just keep them going continuous. We're having tomorrow do that because number one, it's fun to watch. <laughs> and number two, we need to reset. So what you do on the circuit for the 30 seconds, they're just gonna go continuous. Whenever they reach the end of wherever they're going, they'll flip around and come right back. So this is the position right there. The faster they go, the more they're working it. And 
What we have is a reverse lunge and a drop lunge or a curtsy lunge. Okay? So Tamara's going to start with the sliding reverse lunge. She's going to slide it back, coming up. Then she's going to cross it back behind her towards me. Bam, there you go. So work on the adductors. The sliding reverse lunge is great because you're doing a push and a pull. So you can get the hip on the side that's coming back, working the booty as you come up, working the leg that's in front. So this is a great combination. Let's go ahead and show it from this side as well tomorrow. Slide it back, pulling it, then crossing it over right back behind. To advance this as well, you can throw some weight in your client's hands. The kettlebell is great. They can hug it to the chest. They can put it in the arm of the leg that's working it. So you got that sliding reverse lunge, drop lunge. So you can see that drop lunge. Both of these take a lot of balance because that balance slides all over the place. So a lot of control is needed. A lot more muscles are working with that one as well. So that's a big double whammy for the legs. Okay? All right, exercise number five in our circuit number two. Okay? What we have is a plank row. So what Tamara's gonna do is she's gonna get set up on the bench here. She's like, what am I doing? One arm is gonna be on the bench in a plank position. The other arm is gonna grab that dumbbell and she's gonna do a dumbbell row with it. You can use kettlebells, whatever you want. She's gonna squeeze her bum, keeping that body in a great position. She's working the shoulder blade really hard on this side over here, rocking out the biceps, the back in that position. So as they go down, you wanna make sure you're cueing them to keep that shoulder blade back, locked back, so it's not being drugged down each time. Yeah, so to advance this as well, you just kind of drop the height a little bit. But the more weight they're using, the more they're rocking that out. So that's a great finish to circuit number two. All right, our 30-30 circuit. If you're going density style with your private training clients, then that's going to be a six repetition circuit. Okay? Hope you enjoyed that one. We're going to go right on to the next one.